remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Jeezy took to Instagram to share his thoughts on rapper Pop Smoke being murdered at a home in Hollywood Hills by masked gunmen. Jeezy said, yo, we got to do better, man. What we doing? At the end of the day, we all kings. We ain't in the jungle. You ain't got to kill your brother to eat. Them days should be behind us. They print money every day. Every day. Apply yourself. We got to do better. He said, I want to see all y'all win. So what I'm going to do, I am going to stay in this lane of seeing all of us win. The murder is still being investigated. Right now it's being investigated as a gang-related homicide. Initially, they thought it was a home invasion robbery gone bad, but the reports that they're getting is that Pop was targeted. They went through the house, and the only person that they shot at was him. In fact, when they left the house, they left empty-handed. They didn't take a dollar, nothing. They didn't walk out with a cigarette, nothing. So it's being investigated as a homicide. Pop Smoke's family, when they heard about the shooting, they jumped on a plane in New York and headed, to the, and headed out to the West Coast. When they got there, they touched ground. They canvassed the neighborhood conducting their own investigation. They started interviewing people. They interviewed witnesses, and they said they're not going to stop until they find out who killed Pop Smoke. Now, if I look at this as a robbery, you can say easily that, well, if it's a robbery, they went after him just for a robbery. Let's say they went after him for the robbery, but they ended up not walking out. Maybe they panicked. They felt like they didn't have enough time to get something, so they, they dipped. Speaking from that standpoint, I can just say from my own experience, I've never looked at another brother having money, having success, and thought to myself, I want what he has. I may have said, I want that. You know, I want, I want a car like that. I want a girl like that. But you got dudes out there that look at, what, look at your car and say, I want, that. I want his car. I want his girl. I want his money. They don't, they're not motivated to get their own. They want yours. So in that regards, if that's what Jesus is coming from, I can see that. The other angle is the hit, murder, gang-related. Pop was not, we'll put it like this, he was gang-affiliated, but he didn't have to be. The dude was getting money. In my opinion, it's hustling backwards for anybody to claim gain after they get out of the hood and make something out of themselves. He was renting out a $2.5 million home through Airbnb. So you got to have money to rent that type of spot. He had a, a successful mixtape that he had recently dropped. He was getting money. A lot of cats that are in the streets, that are in gangs, they feel like they can't do nothing but bang. That's all they know how to do is bang. When you have cats like 6ix9ine, 
who got the whole world in front of him, got all this money, got all this access, but he has to somehow inject himself into gang culture. That is hustling backwards. The name of the game is to get out and stay out. Why would you go backwards? It don't make any sense. So I don't really know what the truth is. We don't know what happened. Unless, damn near really, unless you was involved, unless you were sitting there and you're part of the whole planning and organizing of the hit, you really don't know what that was about. So I'm basically, I'm speaking in general because I don't really know exactly what happened like everybody else. I'm totally in the dark. But I do know uh, from what is being said, this looks like a hit on a brother by some brothers once again. And how many times has that happened? That's really sad. I'll end this video the same way Jeezy ended his. I want to see all y'all win. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?